What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to day four of our seven day challenge where we teach you how to get great at jumping rope. Today guys, we're gonna focus all on posture, so the correct posture when you're jumping rope. Before we get into today's tutorial, we're gonna focus on jumping rope fast for two sets of 30 seconds, which was the homework from yesterday. So again, just making sure that we get down yesterday's skill before, before moving on to this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to start things off, practice from yesterday, we're just practicing jumping rope at a high speed. So again, what you guys wanna remember from yesterday is Brandon's super low to the ground. He's up a little bit higher on his toes than he normally would be so that he can reach the ground faster. Um, his elbows are in and his wrists are choked up on the handles a little bit and he's controlling everything, um, making sure that rope is super tight as he whips it around. Um, and again, guys, this is just a lot, a lot, a lot of practice. Good guys, second round here. Keep going fast, keep practicing. Make sure to keep those feet to the ground. Knees are gonna be slightly bent. Uh, choke up on the handles with the wrists and just practice whipping that thing around. Correct posture when jumping rope is super important because without the correct posture and when you're jumping too high off the ground, it can cause numerous knee, back, and a lot of other pains in your body that you do not want. Next, I'm gonna give you guys some B-roll of me just jumping rope with the correct posture. Let's check it out. All right guys, next up for posture, what I want you guys to see here is look how straight my back is. That's the most important part. You don't wanna be hunched over, you don't wanna be leaning too far back. Um, so the first thing I want you guys to notice is my back and my neck. I'm looking straight forward, just going straight up and down. And this even goes into my legs. Check out my knees right here. As you can see, there's only a slight bend, but my back does not bend when I'm jumping rope. You really want to get this in your head that you are going straight up and down. And the way that we do this, to be honest with you, is pick a spot on the ground where you're only coming up and down off that point and you just stay in that place. That's gonna help you to maintain that straight back like I talked about. Um, and your elbows should actually be uh, still in line with your back as well because they should be inside as you spin the rope around. So guys, practice this. It's not super complicated to get your posture down, but you wanna make sure that you're jumping straight up and down so to avoid injury. So now guys, we're gonna do four, set, four sets of 30 seconds where not only are you focusing on proper hand placement, your elbows, everything we've talked about, but also your posture, maintaining a low, um, low impact to the ground, knees slightly bent, and your back is straight the entire time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, four rounds on the jump rope today, four rounds on the jump rope. So taking what we learned, this is the front angle for this first one, I'm just straight up and down and nice and easily spinning the rope. I'm up on my toes, my elbows are in, hands are jutting out to the sides of the hips as you can see here as I start to turn to the side. It's a nice fluid motion up and down. Look guys, jumping rope means doing less. You don't need to be doing a whole lot of work when you're to jump rope successfully. And that's the beautiful thing about it. The less you do, the longer you can jump, which means the more calories you are going to burn. On to the second one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep going, let's keep going, come on. Give it your all here. If you can't go super fast, that's not so much what I'm concerned with, that's fine. But what I want you guys to focus on is just getting that proper uh, posture down for jump rope. Because guys, getting the fundamentals down, as you see now that, now that I'm turning to the side, I'm literally going straight up and down. You could put a board behind my back or a wall, and I'd probably stay right there. Third set, ladies and gentlemen, make it count. Make it count, keep going. Again, guys, I'm gonna say this till I'm blue in the face, but less is more, less is more. Do less when you are jumping rope. You should be doing less.
and last set ladies and gentlemen so speed up the rope a little bit here what i want you guys to do is start off slower and if you'll notice in these last sets i kind of speed up my my rope a little bit just so that i'm jumping at a higher higher rate that's what i want you guys to do speed up the rope um, get intense with it and you don't have to jump rope for that long okay have a great one ladies and gentlemen make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video in this series of our how to jump rope Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in uh, today. Be sure to check out the next video where we how we teach you. Be sure to check out the next video where we teach you how to correct jump rope mistakes. very, very important to have a great posture when jumping rope because Colombian police always ride by on their motorcycles.